hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel rishi labs in today's video we are going to see how to download and install escalate 3 so let's get started for this you'll require a web browser i'm going to make use of google chrome in the address bar you need to type escalate 3 download so once you enter escalate 3 download you are going to get the first link Escalate download page. So, this is the official website to download Escalate setup. On this page, as we are going to download it for the Windows, you need to scroll down and look for the pre compiled binaries for Windows. Over here, you will get the third link, which is of 6.12 MB Escalate tools. So, you need to click on this, it will download the entire setup click on this show in folder now it's a zip file we'll need to unzip it so i've unzipped to this folder if we open this folder there are four exe files of escalate 3 now let's go back as we don't need this zip i'll delete it now this unzipped file, let's rename it. Now once it is renamed, you need to move it to another, any specific drive. You can keep it at any location. I'll make use of C drive. You can also move to D or any another drive if you have on your windows. And just paste it. Now let's go inside this folder, SQLite 3, open a CMD panel. I'll type Windows and CMD. Okay. Once the CMD is open, now we need to check if SQLite 3 is configured. You can type the command SQLite 3 and press enter. See, it is showing that SQLite 3 is not recognized as internal or external command. Okay. Now to fix this, you need to open environment variables and set this path where SQLite 3 is kept. So we'll press on Windows key, type environment variables. You'll get this, edit the system environment variables, click on it. On the screen, you need to click on environment variables. There will be two panels. One is for user variables, second is the system variables. Into go for system variables, click look for the path, click on edit. Over here, we'll need to set path where we have kept these files. So let me copy the path. It's see escalate 3. Okay. I've copied it now. Over here, click on new and paste the directory location. Click on OK, then click on OK, and again OK. So we have set the SQLite 3 path. Now I'll just reopen this. Now let's open this CMD again and type the command SQLite 3 and press enter. See, now it is recognized as a command. OK. So SQLite 3 shell has opened. You can see it has got changed from this directory location to SQLite 3. So this is SQLite 3 shell through which you can perform next activities. Okay. So once this command SQLite 3 is recognized, you will be able to see the version SQLite version which is been used. Okay. If you want to see the existing commands, you can also type help, and you'll get the list of all supported commands with the SQLite 3. Okay, so all these commands you can use to in the SQLite shell. So I'll close this. So that's how you can download and set up. Now I'll go to the another drive, this PC. Okay, over here, let me create one folder. Now let's open a CMD over here and create a sample database in this directory. So you need to type CMD over here. This will open the CMD screen in the specific directory location. 
okay now if i want to create database in sqlite 3 the command is sqlite 3 let's create a sample database sample.db you can provide any another name and press enter okay now the database is created in this location but it will not be visible to see it you need to type the command dot databases see at the back end a file is visible now that is sample it is of type database file okay now let's create a now let's create a sample table okay i've kept the script ready this is a create table script so create table students we are going to create a student table with four columns id name age and grade so I'll just copy this and paste and hit enter. So this has created a table. Now to look existing tables in this database, you can type dot tables. See students table is there. But since we have created this fresh table, no data will be available. So we are going to insert some dummy records. So we have inserted some dummy records now to read the records from the table you need to type select star from students and press enter you are able to see the result set but you're not getting the headers right so in that case you need to type the command dot headers on you need to type dot headers on and then we are going to read the data from the table again select star from students this time you are able to see the records along with the headers id name age and grade okay suppose while working you have created the database you have created the table and suddenly this cmd screen gets closed okay like it has got closed now if you want to reopen this file or access this database how you can do it you need to come back to this directory where your database is kept open the cmd screen okay now to access the sample db you need to type sqlite 3 space sample dot db and press enter okay now this time a new file is not got created but same sample db file is accessed okay if i type dot tables it should show me the students table which we created in previous session see students now we will check if data is available inside it or not so select star from students and hit enter i forgot to provide semicolon so it is showing all the records which I have inserted before as it is not showing the headers i'll just retype the dot headers on And now if I just retype that code, select star from students with the semicolon, need enter. See. So that's all for today, guys. This is how we can download and set up SQLite 3 on your Windows laptop and use it. Do subscribe to my YouTube channel Rishi Labs. Thanks for watching.